Hey guys, what's up? This is Tim here with Test Emmy. We're back with our Learn uh, Selenium WebDriver for Beginners course, pretty much test automation for beginners. Uh, today we're going to look at tutorial number 30, making progress. Guys, remember when we started from tutorial 1, how to install Python and so forth. But anyway, we're looking at... Um, like I mentioned, tutorial 30, and for today, we're going to look at ob more of object-oriented programming. And the next concept, I want to introduce you guys to the concept of method overriding. Let's jump into it, shall we? Let's go, baby! All right, um, we're going to just kind of jump right into the code here. You guys have been working. Like I said, if you haven't seen the first three uh, videos we did, uh, object-oriented part one, also part two and part three, uh, we really uh, call that uh, met, uh, excuse me inheritance. Now we're going to look at what's called like method overriding. So we're going to go back, like I mentioned, back to our code here and back to our computers class, right? Again, this is considered the base class, or you can call it the parent class, or uh, you can call it the super class. We went ahead and uh, defined some methods, starting with our init method, our start method, how you start computers. So again, this is the blueprint, right? This is shows how you're going to start any computer that you're going to create from this parent class, just like a parent having some little babies, uh, if you will. Um, uh, everything that's going to inherit from this parent class, these are some of the methods that are already in place. We define it. Again, this can be called whatever. You can create your own classes, okay? Go back and watch the first few videos if you haven't. Right, so we define a few methods. Our init method, where we define the initial attributes or the, ver the instant instance variables, the name variable, um, the the color variable, um, and the operating system. Again, you can you can uh, add some more. We define some methods, some more uh, generic methods like the, how to start the computer, how to restart your computer, and also shut down. Uh, we also looked at the uh, some of this uh, child class. We created a child class which was tablet computers, right? And you can see the tablet computers inherit from the computer parents class uh, we also have we also define its init method uh, which we inherited from its features um, from the parent class and we also defined its own uh, methods here which in this case we defined a uh, download app right uh, which was a separate method uh, just for downloading uh, tablet applications which had nothing to do with this parent class right it was more uh, more unique to the tablet child class so today we're gonna look at what's called method override so method override is pretty simple uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen and what you want to do here with the methods override right you're gonna go ahead and um, what we want to do here, first of all, let's define a new method here. We're going to call this method email. Okay, pretty simple method. You guys are used to this. And we're just going to do something simple. We're going to say this method prints an email, right? Prints an email from the parent class, just so it's more descriptive. All right, this, this, this method prints an email from the parent class. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and run this. Uh, so here's our Apple computer. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we already have instantiated the uh, the uh, computers class by creating the Apple object. We're just gonna call that method we just created. As you can see, it's now available. Uh, the email method, and we're just gonna say email. And let's go ahead and run this, right? So under the email section, you're gonna say right here. See, it says uh, this method prints this method prints. Uh, an email from the parent class. It really should be an email. We'll go ahead and correct that. Uh, but you can see the gist prints an email uh, from the parent class, right? So it's right here. Prints an email from the parent class. Uh, so what I want us to do now is you can see that works. And uh, now if we go back to our child class here, right? So this is our tablet computers. And let's go ahead and now, uh, we're gonna, this is where we're going to override, right? So we're going to say email, right? Same thing. And we're going to say print. And we're going to say this overrides, just to show you guys, it can be whatever kind of logic, you, business logic you put here. But I want to just show you how this works, right? This, this method, let's just say this method overrides the print function from the parent class, right? This method overrides the print function, not the print, <laughs> I'm saying print, okay, the email function, sorry guys. Uh, the email function, this method overrides the email function from the print class, okay? Uh, from the parent class, pardon me. Uh, so you're going to notice here, now if we go back to, and if you guys have this code again, just follow along, or just go ahead and type along with me. If we go back to our tablet uh, class here, uh, right here, uh, we can just use this one, we can just leverage this one right here, and we can say tablet, tablet comp, comp, comp is short for computer, 
And now if we go ahead and uh, call that method, which we just defined, right? Again, if you notice, when we instantiated this uh, child class, this tablet computers class, uh, we created this tablet underscore comp object. And you can see we call the start uh, method, the shutdown method, restart method. But again, those are all from the parent class, computer parent classes. That's where it was inherited from, right? Uh, but now uh, if we go back, uh, just so you guys can see the code here now, but if, if we go back here and we call this email uh, method, okay, let, let's just do this, right? So let's go ahead and uh, comment this out first, right? We're commenting this out from the child class, and we're, we're going to call this email method here from the parent class, parent computers class, and let me go ahead and run this, right? Uh, let's go ahead and run that, and you're going to see it's going to print out the one from the parent class. So if I go up, okay, it says this method prints an email from the parent class, which was right which was because it inherited from the uh computers class when we uh instantiated the tablets uh, computers uh, uh child class here right but now if we do the override here if i go ahead and do the override and i run this it's now going to override this parent method and it's actually going to run the child method from the tablets computers right so you're going to check that out see how cool this is let's go ahead and run it go back up and see that it says this method overrides the email function from the parent class. So that's how you do the method override. All you have to do is, uh, the main thing is you want to make sure you use the same method name. Use the same method name, but as far as your business logic or the code you put within that method, you want to you want to go you want to head and go ahead and change it. You go ahead and override it. Just like a child grows up, it, you learn a lot of things from your parents, but you grow up to become a man or a woman, grow man or woman, you begin to do your own things, right? The same last name, is, if you will, so to speak, in this object-oriented talk, right? Uh, but you can to go do your own thing. Same thing, this child uh, tablet computers, it inherits from the computers class, but it says, you know what? I have the same email, uh, email method, but I want to go ahead and do my own thing, right? So this is its own thing, you know? All right, so uh, uh, a few more, one more thing I want to show you, a few more things I want to show you guys here uh, also, uh, which we've already looked at, right? I remember like what we mentioned from this download app, right? You can actually just do your own, uh, create your own feature. So for example, we can just do uh, def, and we can do print. We can just do a print feature. Uh, we can just create our own method. Uh, I guess we kind of looked at it earlier, but we can do it again. We can just say print, and we can say uh, print. This prints out, this prints from the tablet computer right this prints from the tablet computer so you're just defining your own unique method within the child class and we want to do uh we want to go ahead and um we want to go ahead and call that particular object excuse me that method uh from that object the tablet underscore comp object go ahead and call the print function again that print function is not part of the parent function parent class uh, but we just created our own particular method and in that case it was the print function excuse me the print method you can see it here from the child class we created it. it's unique and go ahead and you know run the print and you're going to see it here it says it here it says this this prints from the tablet computer right here right so we print from the tablet computer so that's how you can create your own uh unique methods within the child class uh one more thing there's something called the super uh method i want to show you guys a function and the way the super function works is if we go back to our email uh method from our parent parent computers class uh uh, let's say we want to still leverage some of the actual features or functionality from this um, class, uh, but at the same time, we also want to leverage uh, uh, some of the features and functionality also from the uh, the child class, which has the same method. So this has email method, this one has email method, but we don't want to completely override. Let's say we want to do a partial override and still use some of this functionality. What you can do is you can use what's called the super method, and the way you do it is just use the super contacts, super keyword, so it's just super. See it right here, it says super class. Is built in and you want to do super open and close parentheses and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put the name of the the child class here which is tablet computers do comma and put in self this is just how you leverage use the super method do self and you want to do dot and now uh, you want to go ahead and call that method that you want to partially use or override right uh, partially use so in this case you want to use the email method uh, where you can see it Harris from the computers class go ahead and use the email method and what you're going to notice here, when we go ahead and run this code with the super method, it's going to go ahead and call this, first of all, call the code from the parent class, which is this email method, which is uh, the super method is going to call it. And now it's also going to use still, it's also going to use our child class 
email functionality. So you're going to get the best of both worlds. This one from the parent class email method and also the one from the child email method. So let's go ahead and do it. So you can see here where it says on our uh, uh, output here, it says that this method overrides the email function from the parent class. You're going to see this, but before this, you're going to see in between these two lines, after restarting my Microsoft tablet computer, you're going to see it print out this method prints an email from the parent class. So it's going to print both, right? You're going to leverage this, which is the super method, and also the email uh, method from the child class. So let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see here, you see that? It says this method prints an email from the parent class, which 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 came about from the super method, right, which we called this uh, feature. Um, and it also printed out the email functionality, which says this method overrides the email function from the parent class. I wanted to show you guys the uh, super method uh, in conjunction on how to do the method override and also how you can also uh, create your own uh, methods which are unique to the child class. Uh, so what I want you to do is I want you to practice, practice, practice. I also want you to go ahead and subscribe to the Test Demi YouTube uh, page and also subscribe to go to www.testdemi.com. Go there, subscribe to that actual website page. I have some more for free tutorials on there. Uh, but to that, I'll see you. Boop, 3 0 at the next tutorial. See you soon. All right, peace. We out. Testdemi.com. Be good.